Kuro Ninja's adventures are like stories, and for every good story, there has to be a good villain. Today, we're going to talk about Kuro Ninja's archenemy, because this is the history of Kuro Ninja. <laughs> This is what Anti Kuro Ninja looks like. He doesn't look evil, and his personality doesn't seem evil either. However, there is a reason why Anti Kuro Ninja is Kuro Ninja's arch enemy. One of Kuro Ninja's enemies used to be an evil space demon who went by the name of Char Gragigon. He was on Earth 1 because Kuro Ninja broke the rules. However, one of those rules is that at the end, Kuro Ninja would always win. Despite this, Chargrajigon would continue to attack Kuro Ninja until Kuro Ninja had enough. Kuro Ninja then joined forces later on with someone named Chargrajigon, who claimed that Chargrajigon destroyed his homeworld of the Antiverse. Both of them took down Chargrajigon together, but then Chorgrajigan revealed his true form of Anti-Kuro Ninja, and it turned out that the Antiverse was still there. Anti-Kuro Ninja then became the first person to win against Kuro Ninja. Even though Kuro Ninja got more power-ups later, Anti-Kuro Ninja became stronger too, and sent Kuro Ninja to another dimension, Earth Zero. Kuro Ninja then learned that Chargrajigon was a form used by his Earth Zero counterpart, and that Earth Zero was a place where most of the universes were created, including Earth One, the main Super Sentai universe. Kuro Ninja was now aware of a transparent barrier from Earth Zero, which allowed people from Earth Zero to watch what happened on other dimensions. It was known as the Fourth Wall. Kuro Ninja then returned to Earth-1 and used all of his power to seal Anti-Kuro Ninja in the Void. While Anti-Kuro Ninja was in the Void, he decided that he would use it as his element to make him the opposite of Kuro Ninja's element, which is Shadows. That was when he was unsealed by the Cyber Ninja Tech Company. Now let's talk about Kuro Ninja's personality. Kuro Ninja is very active and has a very strong fighting style. He uses mostly power-ups to become stronger. As for Anti-Kuro Ninja, he rarely fights and instead relies on strategies and planning. Anti-Kuro Ninja also spends his time kidnapping Shiro Ninja, but then Kuro Ninja rescues her. Do you want to know why Anti-Kuro Ninja's plans usually involve kidnapping Shiro Ninja? Because Kuro Ninja always says this in his outros. Now Kuro Ninja might claim to not be interested in Shiro Ninja, but he's definitely interested in the 41st Super Sentai, Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. But how is that related to the history of Kuro Ninja? Find out next time on History of Kuro Ninja.